Hi everybody. Here we go with continued work on riveting up the horizontal stabilizer. Vance tells you first to do all of the vertical <coughs> all the vertical ribs before doing the horizontal stringers and that's what I'm doing. Another member, no, actually, no, this wasn't a member. A uh, friend of, uh, a new friend of mine who has a hanger uh, wanted to come by and see what all the hubbub was about. He actually has a, a kit amphib plane in the double hanger, or I should say the uh, multi sized hanger that's uh, directly behind mine. He hears, he hears the riveting all day, and so he's curious. So Vans mentions that you don't have to rivet in place the uh, internal nose ribs, the one that you can actually see in the center there, until later, but I wanted to make sure that uh, I would be able to squeeze them in without any uh, chipping of the primer or any uh, you know detriment to the skin. Ah, uh, nice backlit sun. So just doing the uh, end cap there, since I had the squeezer out, figured I might as well do any of the vertical squeezing uh, that I need while I'm there. So I'm very impressed with the way that this piece went together. There was absolutely no bubbling, no oil canning. Uh, as I was riveting in, didn't have any folds or any slack in the aluminum. Fit together very, very well. And now that one side is done, I'm um, just going to start working on this on the other. Now this is where I started having a little problem. Uh, like I said, just in the quadrinary when it came to dealing with the stringer and the specialized ribs, uh, the quadrant area on both sides makes up six of the vertical ribs and those are the kind that have the extra flanges. They all got bucked very well. I think I just wound up with a smiley face in two uh, locations. No big deal. If having a smiley face mean you couldn't complete, uh, you couldn't fly your plane, then, then I, I don't know who would be able to fly. Oh, well, there I am, drilling out a bad rivet. Okay, so this is another day where I apparently went stupid again and just decided to point the camera into the sun.
here I am once again approaching the quadrant area uh, that gave me a little bit of problem only because of the difference in the rib types but it wasn't too bad anyway this is where we finish up uh, this one side I believe I still have to do the entire other side or is this the second side no anyway we'll uh, see you in the next video